Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like and subscribe button. If you want to be a member of my channel, uh, there's a link below the video where you can join my channel. And um, I'm having a mind block. You know, I'm going to make bloopers. I am. I'm going to start. I'm just going to put like a compilation of bloopers together. You guys don't know how many times I start recording. I must hit the button like five times and then I got to stop because I forget what I'm going to say or I'm just completely out of sync. Anyway, 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 um, this is a Virgo channel. Welcome if you're new. Hi, everybody in the chat. Okay, Virgo sun, moon, rising or Venus. And as usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Okay, now my audio probably doesn't sound so great because my, I have a, my Yeti, my, my, my professional microphone, darlings, has not come in yet. So I'm using this crappy iPhone headset. So it is what it is. We make do. We get the readings out and that's that. Okay, all right, let's see what your love messages are for October 2022. For all Virgos in the house, we have a jumper. Oh, you got the axe. Breakup separation. Stopping the pattern. Stopping the cycle. Silent treatment and abandonment. Wow, that's great. Lovely. It's like that axe, that guy yielding that axe in the McDonald's. Some of you in a McDonald's, don't take your axe out. They put ketchup on your burger. You don't like ketchup. Don't hit them with the axe. So there's something going on here, okay? Somebody's in a breakup, separation. Um, yo, okay, they just said, there's a silent treatment and and somebody feels abandoned. They're coming in with that ax. They, they wanna stop this. This is what I'm hearing. Somebody is gonna, I feel like somebody's gonna come down with that ax and say, you know, cut this out, cut it out. Virgo, some of you who might be giving someone the, the silent treatment. You're like, I ain't talking to you. It's not, not on purpose. I'm not doing it on purpose. Just getting on with life. Okay, let me see. You've got, there you go again, separation. So, sadness. Somebody's missing you. Thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Oh, somebody's coming in to break the silence. Here I am in silence. Dun, dun, dun. Isn't that like um, Depeche Mode? Enjoy the silence. I want to know what you're thinking. Tell me what's on your mind. Somebody doesn't know what you're thinking. They don't know what's going on. You're giving somebody the silent treatment. And this person does not like it. Oh, girl with the snake, guy with the snake, empath and narcissist. Okay, there you go. All right. That narcissist, they don't like it. You're giving that narcissistic injury, Virgo. The paradigm, the dance. Um, being charmed or used, enable, this narcissist feels like you use them. I'm feeling a little boohoo. Just kidding. I don't really give a shit. Um, this narcissist does not like, um, they're the empath now. Now they're really feeling it. <laughs> this person does not like that you put up some boundaries. Okay, who is this person? I do not know. We'll find out as we go so yeah that's what's going on i mean I, okay readings over i'll see y'all tomorrow boom <laughs> okay yeah they're coming in they're coming in to break the silence enjoy the silence breaking the silence can you give me some alternative 80s songs um is there a song called breaking the silence i know there's enjoy the silence virgo's like enjoy the silence because you give me the silent treatment, you're getting it right back. And somebody does not like it. And this person is like, nope, I'm breaking the silence. I'm, you're going to get the Hoover. You're going to get the holiday Hoover, Virgo. Somebody's coming in with that holiday Hoover right before the holidays. Okay, let's get into this damn reading. What the heck is going on? What is this? Who is this person? This could be a lover. This could be an ex. This could be a family member, a friend. Okay, cards are flying out. All right, this person's coming in to make some change. I'll try to slip a couple of coins in your coin slot. They're coming in to make some change. Will of the year, definitely. Oh boy, this is movement. Um, soon, like I, this person feels that you owe them a favor. They just said you owe them something. That's how they feel. You, I don't know if you do, but this person feels like you owe them something. And they're coming in to collect. 
okay? Maybe there's money. Somebody might, you you know, maybe you owe them some money or, or they're just coming to say, you know, oh gosh. All right, so they're just telling me. Now, I think yesterday's reading, I talked about the indirect direct. So this person is going to come in with some kind of excuse to break the silence. Do not fall for it. You know, um, do you still have my hammer in the garage? Like, seriously, you can't go to Home Depot and just go get a new hammer. You got to contact me to come back. That's bullshit. Um, they're going to ask you something about the kids that they easily could find out from the school. They don't have to contact you. So they're going to come in with, you know, um, do you have that 10 bucks you owe me? Like 10 bucks, are you for real? Um, for some, they're going to come in and ask for a favor to you. Um, somebody needs, somebody's mother needs a ride to doctor's appointment. Something they just can't, oh, it's an emergency. <laughs> Virgo, I know you know who I'm talking about. I know you know who I'm talking about. I don't know who you're talking to. Like, I don't know who you're talking to, but I know you know who I'm talking about. And this person is not liking overall that you are whatever. You're not answering. You're not picking up the phone. You're not texting back. You're not reaching out. You're giving the ax right back, okay? That's what I feel like is going on, okay? this per Somebody might have a snake somewhere on their body, like a tattoo or, or a drawing or, or something, or maybe they have a snake or there's something to do with a snake here. You are now, the tables have turned. That's the wheel of the year. Things have shifted, which is the wheel of fortune. Now you are the narcissist <laughs> and this person, um, this is a turning point, and now they are the empath. Now they are the ones who are getting um, karma right back at them for whatever they did. I think this person thought that they could just control the di the the control the the narrative and relate. Look, I've got four cards out, and these are the messages I'm getting. I haven't even gotten the other cards out yet. I mean, the energy is so strong here, Virgo. And I feel like this person, well, they do not like this. No, they do not. So, yeah, they're going to come in. Let's see what else is going on here. Let's get on with this reading. This person's going to come in and try. Oh, yeah. Look at the Ace of Wands. Oh, they're going to give you something good. Um, th this urge. This person is obsessed with you, Virgo obsessed with control, obsessed with Virgo. It's not like, I'm sorry. It's not love. It looks like love. It acts like love. It walks like love. It talks like love, but it's not love. And I know in general terms, if it walks like a duck, it talks like a duck. It's a duck. No, this is a, a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. So do not be fooled. Okay. That ace of wands makes me feel like this person cannot they don't have the ability to discern and say, maybe I shouldn't reach out to Virgo because, you know, maybe like to consider how you might feel. No, this person's like, who gives a shit? I'm going, I'm concerned with how I feel. And that urge is so great for them to connect with you and to hover and control. And I can't even believe this reading is going this every day, is something different, isn't it? Every day. Or every week, the energy shifts. So, yeah, they're, they're going to come in and try and have a new start with you. Um, they may say, you know, you get, they got this project they're trying to start or tell you that they want all this money or that, or that they're making big money. They're trying to make a connection with you. And Virgo, like, why? Because they get off on that. <laughs> Five of Cups, right when I said why. Because this person, like I said, you know, they feel like... Oh, they're going to come in with this regret and remorse, but it's not feel, right? Cup energy is usually is the feelings, right? The emotions, but it's a five, okay? And this person, five of cups with the five represents having inconsistency, inconsistent behavior, uncertain, mixed messages, constant, like a changeling, 
constantly realigning themselves to you. Um, and then what's the opposite of realigning? Unaligning? I don't know. Um, this person just wants the freedom. They're coming in. It, it's a little bit of a temperature check because the Ace of Wands is like, that makes me feel like a, um, like a thermometer, like a heat, like a curling iron. It's like a, like a tent, a temp check to make sure that you're still there and you're going to respond. You're going to answer. Um, and then what are they, what are they going to do? Okay. That five of cups, they're going to come in with this. Uh, oh, you know, I, I, I thought you didn't love me anymore. You know, um, this is if you answer. And for some of you, there might be a, a phone call. Um, you know, I feel so lost without you. I regret treating you that way. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I feel so abandoned. I'm sorry I abandoned you. You know, uh, I, I like all oh, this poor me shit. <laughs> Here we go. King of Swords is back. Hey, Mel. Hey, Haley, I think. Uh, King of Swords is back. This King of Swords. You know, the King of Swords is usually very truthful. Oh, okay. They're just telling me something here. <gasps> no, 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 no. Hold on. O M. O. Oh, 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 I can't even believe this. King of Swords, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, Queen of Swords. I knew something was coming up and they said, hold on a minute. We've got four people here. Oh, this reading is turning around. Hold on a second now. We've got four people showing up in this reading. All right. Give me a sec here now. What do you want to, what does Virgo, what do, who are these people? Why are they here? Oh, nine of swords. What? OMG, oh my God, okay. I, I'm saying OMG like I'm 13. Um, so, Virgo, you need to like seriously get yourself together. You either need to pack your bags and move or you need to like not answer any phones. I don't think so. Please don't think it's a warning like you're going to be physically harmed. I'm not seeing that at all. I'm seeing like people here with that nine of swords. This energy is like. Oh, like a lot of anxiety and like just a total nightmare these group of people it could be people that you connect with like it doesn't have to be one person there might be a ringleader but there's people behind one particular person it's like a group um it could be family it could be work colleagues poking at you poking at you poking at you okay Oh my goodness. This is like a nightmare. This feels like a separate, I don't know if it's a separate reading or they, this, this particular person, this narc has people behind them that they're causing a lot of stress and anxiety too as well. But these people might be like flying monkeys or wow, Knight of Cups. Ugh. All right, now they're just giving me another message. Now, listen, I know sometimes my readings can be predictive, but this right here, um, your person has some interesting sexual fetishes where they do the whole group SEX. They do um, a lot of mix and match, if you know what I mean. And you may not have known that. Some of you might know it, but there's a whole, listen, what you get with this narc is, or this, this person is the tip of the iceberg. But underneath that, under that iceberg, way down in the deep, deep blue, there are things that you don't know that's going on. And I don't know if this is a warning or if you need to like, if you had a hunch, you need to listen to your hunch because... Behind the veil, this person is hiding others 
or there's other pe males and females or whatever other there is today in this world there's others that they are also you know causing a lot of stress and anxiety and also but doing the whole like love bombing thing oh my god virgo what a message so whoever your person is they're out there with everybody else and i think you know that some of you are like oh i know yeah some of you are like oh i know look there's a seven of cups non-committal living in fantasy land this person's a hot mess virgo you got the ace and that means you are the number one source you don't get away. Mm -mm. Look at that devil right when I said that. Oh no, you're not, you will, you do not get away from this person. I mean, I'm not telling you to do, to not get away. I'm saying this is how their energy is. That's why there's, they're going to stop this silent treatment. Either they were giving the silent treatment to you and they dictate when it stops and now they're going to stop it. <laughs> now, you don't have to follow the rules. Like, you know what I mean? Um, you don't have to. So I was just going to, you know, you, this, this, if this person's a dictator, I mean, you live in a democracy. You don't have to follow the rules. <laughs> okay. I'm just letting you know that <laughs> you don't know anybody, anything, but absolutely with that, with that devil card. Oh boy. This person's addicted to you. I told you a little bit obsessed. There's uh, some lust going on. I feel like, like you are the number one. Okay, what happens if Virgo does not respond, does not answer um, this person coming around? What's going to be this energy? Oh, okay, there you are. King of Pentacles. Oh, you're going to be in. Virgo, you just keep, you just stay away. Look, you have the Nine of Cups. You're, I tr trust me, I promise, you just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, you keep that block up. Look at that pentacle. It's like a block. It's like looking in the mirror, keeping yourself focused on your reflection, your self-reflection, your self-awareness. Stay focused on that. That nine of cups, like you've got some awesome wishes coming to you. Okay, you're going to be in abundance. But you, this is all based on if you just ignore, 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 or at least give this person like stone cold you got to become a rolling stone virgo you got to be the narcissist now in order to deal with a narcissist <laughs> and i'm not telling you got to actually morph like you just morph into one you just play acting okay can you act i know all virgos have excellent acting skills so you got to pull out a little bit of um i don't know leonard dicaprio a little robin de niro a little meryl street you got to put on your acting mask and all that with this person okay um, if that's something like you have to talk to them, you just got a gray rock, you got to stone them, you know, stonewall this person. Yeah. Because if you do, all your wishes going to come true. If you stay connected with this person, what I feel is that you just, this pattern, like I said, the pattern is going to repeat. This person's going to ghost you again. They're going to abandon you again. They're going to give you the silent treatment again. That is what's happening. Do not gaslight yourself and do not turn yourself around and say, oh, it's all your, oh, it's all my fault. If I hadn't said that, they wouldn't have, uh, this is just how they are. They just pull away. No, this person is an asshole, whatever the case, right? Healthy people don't do that. Healthy people sit down and communicate. We communicate. We're not two-year-olds. Okay, so yeah, you got wishes coming to you. You got a cornucopia coming to you on the table waiting for you to just pick and choose whatever you want. You got a, a buffet of abundance coming here. Stay focused on that. Don't answer that call. This person comes in with that snake on them. <laughs> you got to power up. Okay, look at you. Yep, eight of cups, dreams, wishes, hopes. I love this. I love this for you. I really do. Withdraw, retreat, moving on, and abandon that. Abandon that narcissist. Get out of that. Do not let this person come in and hoover you with these fake, future faking, these promises, these. Now, listen, I know you guys are like, how come you know so much about narcissism? Well, I studied it in school. And so I'm very clear on the... The surface stuff about it i don't have the i i i don't have the time to go into the depth of it 
But, you know, I will just say uh, narcissism, the person who is a narcissist is extremely insecure, extremely codependent, extremely needy, vengeful. I mean, a narcissist is basically just an uncivilized teenager in an adult body. Temper tantrums, plays the victim, feels sorry, tattletales on everyone. If you think of a child who is just, it's a Veruca Salt. <laughs> It's a Veruca Salt from Willy Wonka. There you go. But in a in an adult's body. And if you're dealing with someone who's like that, what a parents, you got a Claire Huxtable the, the heck out of this person. Claire Huxtable's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm sorry, she's like my hero, even though she's a fictional character. I just love her. So yeah, look, you got victory, you got wins, you got all your wishes. Do not. <sighs> I'm not gonna tell you, do not. I am going to tell you, spirit is saying, keep your distance. Do not let someone stop their pattern, their decision. They made that decision. They made their bed. Let them lie in it. Okay. Whoever they are, you know, it, it should have no effect on you. That's their problem. And if it does have an emotional effect on you, just give yourself time. It'll, you'll heal from that. But you've got victory. You've got success coming here. The six of wands, it, you know, don't sabotage your success your path and where you're and i know this message isn't going to be for everybody but obviously it's coming out a particular way so somebody needs to hear it do not sabotage your success and your growth and where you're going in your life or where you're headed for one little moment of curiosity because if you think for two seconds that a narcissist this person is reaching out to you because of love? No, it's because of loss. Because if you are not responding back to this person, you know, let me just tell you something. I'll give you an analogy. You buy a new dishwasher. Your old dishwasher is not working anymore, so you get a new one. And you're good, and it works good, and you're fine, and it's doing its job, and everything's great, and you're really happy with that brand new dishwasher, and all of a sudden, Something goes wrong with it. Now it's not functioning very well, right? You can't get what you need now. Now you might have to start washing the dishes in the sink, okay? It's a little bit of an inconvenience because why? The dishwasher's not doing what it's supposed to do. And now you're getting a little mad. Uh-oh, okay? Now you're gonna have to take this dishwasher. You're gonna have to get a repair person or go and find in a replacement. And so whatever's going on here with this person, okay? You're the dishwasher. You're not functioning the way they need you to function. See, this person gave you the silent treatment or discarded you, maybe devalued you. They do this to everyone, okay? They walk in to other men and women that they connect with and they love bomb them. They give them sincerity, sincerity, not sincerity. They give them all this, you know, prince, princess charming, very romantic, very giving, compassionate, warm, um, very loving, that lovey, that knights are in and out. Knights are not like this is not a sticking kind of a person, okay? They do all that. And then they start devaluing where they say, oh, hold on a minute. Um, what made you think that you were going to be the only one? I have other options. This is what they do to other people and maybe what they've done to you. They keep everyone kind of like up there in fantasy land. Okay. Um, they have commitment issues or they tell other people, I'm not ready, but I want to be with you. They play games. Okay. They have a lot of options right? They devalue and then they discard and then everybody's like stressing. This person is like a tidal wave of bullshit. They come in and they wreak havoc because of the insecurity. Okay. So I feel like that was a very strong message for somebody here. And, and you know what, Virgo, my heart goes out to you. If you are, if you've had any kind of long-term connection with someone like this, because It can be so damaging to your self-esteem. It really can. And the only thing I can tell you, you know, um, these types of people will get you to gaslight yourself. They'll get you to believe that you're something. And, and it's not that you're not something. You were and you still are to this person. But it's not in the normal, I want to say, I hate using this word, but neurotypical kind of way. It's not in a way where it's what you give. 
and if <clears throat> if you were the empath, you were very loving and caring and supportive. Okay, that's always that Virgo energy. Virgo is the zodiac sign of service. Okay, but see, you were servicing this narcissist like that good brand new dishwasher, and and then all of a sudden. They, for whatever reason, started their devalue or whatever, and you were working fine, so they didn't need to, like, spend a lot of time with you. But they left, and then that silent treatment happens, and then what happens, right? That, you, you can't, now you break down, you, because they left, you can't, you break down, and you, you're not servicing them anymore, and they come back, and they're like, oh, hold on a minute. And Rose was like, no, I'm out. <laughs> And the more you're away, the more the attacks come. I feel like I'm like, this This reading is so damn deep. And I might just have to stop using those, those island time cards because holy moly. All right, awakening. Okay, you're undergoing a spiritual transformation right now. Spiritual lesson. This person's in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. And I know, Virgo, it's like, how can something so evil, you know, I'm going to tell you, okay, yeah, this person's going to come in and tell you, wants to tell you how they feel. You know what? You tell that Emma for to go. Listen, the spiritual lesson, because this is the most important, what you need to understand, because I know you say, well, how can someone evil like this teach me a spiritual lesson? They come in as an antagonist, okay, because we have to have... In life, this is how life works. We get the yin and the yang. We have the antagonist and the protagonist, okay? We're always going to be up against um, difficult people, difficult decisions, difficult situations in life, right? That's, that's how it works. We don't live on rainbow skittle planet here there's gonna be times and the spiritual lesson for you to learn here is is about yourself how close to you how close to spirit how close to universe how close to god are you and do you need to strengthen that relationship to protect you i mean if you want to go into biblical i mean this is archangel michael and satan this is the fight you know what I mean? So, yeah, I know this is a heavy-duty reading. 30 minutes. I don't know how it's going to turn out. But I'm telling you, this person, obsessed with you. Obsessed. And you ignore them. And I was asking, what are they going to do? What else are they going to do? I wanted to. Yeah, okay. So we got to. I want to see what else is going to happen. So they're definitely still on this. They're destroying other people's lives. Okay. Um, I don't know if, who those other people are. It could be lovers, friends, whichever. I mean, this person is just completely full shit. They, they have a lot of anxiety issues and stuff like that. But their energy, I want to see it, what's going to happen when Virgo just is like doesn't answer. Oh, wow. Five of Pentacles. And the sun. Okay. Oh, boy. Eight of Swords. Oh, you're going to cause a serious injury to this person. And you're going to find out. Okay, you're going to see it. Mm -hmm. So that five of pentacles, that's like left out in the cold. But you know, and the eight of swords, that's like extreme. Oh, they're going to play the victim card for sure. This is like the damsel or the... the, the man. What is a male form of a damsel? Does anybody know? Can you tell me so I'll remember for next time? Like a, a male or female energy on the tracks, damsel in distress. I'm just going to say that. You change it up if you need to. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's an energy. Yeah. You see, you see, it looks like somebody laying on the train tracks there. Yeah. They're going to play it up. Oh, she left me on the cold. Just abandoned me. I tried to make it work with Virgo. And, you know, I'm in such a poverty mindset. But listen, this person with the sun card, like, you're going to see. Somehow, some way, I don't know. The sun is about exposure. You're going to see the injury that that you've caused, and I know Virgo that you you're the injury you're causing is by doing nothing. There's no vengeance coming from you. There's no um, attack here coming from you. 
I see you focusing, focusing on your wishes and your goals and your dreams. There's no attack. There's no, there's no uh, revenge on your part. No, your lack of response, you're just moving on. There's an old saying, um, revenge is a dish best served cold. So the only thing you're serving is nothing nothing and that's the and that's the one thing that they're they're trying to not have that okay and it's going to show and and i know virgo as an empath you never want anyone to hurt i know that i know that i know your heart i know it because i'm a virgo and i understand that you know but you know sometimes you just gotta let the chips fall where they may because i feel like this person you know either they need to come to jesus at some point in their life or go on some kind of medication because there's no help for people that have this like it's either jesus or jail i don't i don't know what to, you know i don't know what to say something that's going to happen so i can tell you that whatever the situation is but you just keep doing what you're doing if you got to like step out and and you know be strong and self-disciplined you know, because I'm telling you right now, with that wheel of fortune, that cycle, this is a cycle that will keep going until they find someone else that's going to fulfill. They get that brand new dishwasher. But I'm telling you, you were number one, and they're not going to find that. They are not going to find that. And, and these types of people, they wind up all alone. Okay? Or, you know, because people don't stay with them. Okay. Let me just get a couple more cards to see before I end. Okay, let's take a look and see what this person's Chinese sign is. Show Virgo this Chinese sign. Okay, the pig just showed up here. What is this Chinese? If you don't know what Chinese, there's 12 Chinese zodiac signs. It starts with rat and it ends with I forget. So Google it and you should read about it because the Chinese signs, I know a lot of you are like, I don't know nothing about it, but I am telling you, believe me, I am telling you that the Chinese signs are true to form 100% and they blend beautifully with your sun. The Chinese sign is kind of like the body your shell, your outer casing of who you are, like what you present out to the world. And then your zodiac is like your personality. That's like your emotions and, you know, everything that goes on within. Okay. Let me see if that makes any sense. Okay. You're the tiger. You're the snake. That's twice. We have maybe two snakes. Year of the dragon. Year of the rooster. Year of the horse. Okay. Year of the rat and a rabbit. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let me get a couple of charms here for you and then get in at your reading. It's crazy. Oh, unicorn. <laughs> Love it. Cause that, you know why? I don't, all right. We have a black flower. Somebody's got like some kind of a black lotus or a black flower somewhere on their body. Um, or maybe there's like a, a pendant of some sort. Hold on. Oh, okay. They just gave me um, mussels. <laughs> so I don't know if it's seafood. They just, it's weird how I got that. I don't know if it's seafood mussels. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing like a plate full of mussels or it's somebody's like muscular. Somebody has mussels. Okay. And what do we have here? What the hell is this? Oh, a mermaid. Beautiful. Well, I like mermaids. Okay, so the unicorn. All right, that's you, Virgo. You are a unicorn. That's why you were chosen by this, this boy or girl with a snake, this uh, you-know-who. That's why you were chosen. You're a unicorn. You're special. Someone like you doesn't come along often, okay? And I know you must be like, no, nope, that's not me. Guess what? If you were involved with this kind of a person, yes, you were number one. And you still are, okay? You're like the unattainable. You are the, the dream, the fantasy, the, uh, you know, the unicorns. You're like the lucky charm for this person. I just saw like lucky charm cereal. Blue hearts, um, yellow stars. 
uh, green sham shamrocks, I don't, <laughs> rainbows, I don't know. You're like the marshmallow. This person, like, you're the soft spot where they land. Um, when they're out there getting doing their business and then hurting everybody else, they come back and then they drain from the well. You got to, like, close the drain. You got to put cap on that drain. Okay. So, unicorn and a mermaid. Wow. Okay. All right, you guys. No, now listen. No, this is so weird. So, do you remember the movie Pirates of the Caribbean? I don't know which one. There was one when they were, everybody was in the boat, like all the pirates, I guess. And then the mermaids came up and they like seduced all the pirates and then they brought them down and they killed them, right? They, they seduce them and then they drown them, right? Okay, Virgo, you got to be that mermaid now. Remember I was saying in the beginning, like, I'm not saying you need to seduce this narcissist, but I'm saying like the tables have turned, there's a turning point, there's a shift here. And I feel like in order, listen, there's an old saying, you got to fight fire with fire. In order to fight with a narcissist, you got to be a narcissist. And I know, I know, you're like, I don't want to be that way. Well, then you're always going to have a narcissist in your life. Like you have to stand up, you have to take up your sword. And that means you got to block and return. You have to do to this person what they do to you in order for them to stop doing for them to go away unless unless you want that and if you want that then stay an empath because that's exactly what they want they want that because that is where they feed from but eventually they get full and then they got then they dump and they leave you know they're kind of like a horse that comes at a trough to eat right um but what happens when that trough's empty trough 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 what happens when that thing is empty Okay, there ain't nothing to, to drink or eat from, right? So you got to make a decision. It's really up to you. You're really not a victim of this person. You be a victim of yourself. Um, and I know that's harsh to say, but you got to take up your sword with people like this in your life. You know, um, I know you want to like be a nice person and everything, but nice girls and nice girls, fin uh, nice girls and nice guys tend to finish last. And that's true. And I'm not saying, you know, I. Uh, Listen, I'm just hardcore and I'm, I've been around the block a few times. I know what people are like and I know you do too. And I just feel like whoever this message specifically for is for, I mean, if you're involved with somebody like this, you will struggle. And if you've been involved with this person or a person like this, the struggle is real and you have to get out and stop fooling yourself that this is love, right? You got to, don't fool yourself. Because if someone's like on the on the spectrum of, of narcissism and they're malignant, they, they can't even, they can't love. What's this card here? Just fell out. Okay, spiritual principles. Traditional roles bring structure and help aid you on your path. What are your spiritual beliefs? Will you conform to this situation or this relationship or not? What path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go? You need to check yourself with this situation okay i feel like it's strong the energy is heavy and strong you know i know the other day we we're like oh your lover's coming back and then some of you hear this and you're like oh yesterday's message wasn't for me this is my message manifestation virgo lay all your cards on the table fear not use every tool in your arsenal to create and manifest your journey as it is above and below so it will be on earth okay so whatever you have the power you have the power you have the power all right one more and then we're gonna go okay yeah spying deception so you have the power not to spy <laughs> if you're spying don't stop that or well not or you do have the power not to spy but also understand that this like i said and i'm going to reiterate this and maybe that'll make you feel better as you go through the different stages of your grief and getting out of a particular situation, I know some of you have already left these things and you're like, no, nope, all right, that's fine. Help the person in the chat or that you are commenting with that's going through this. This person is not gonna leave you alone. I'm telling you right now. And I don't care if 10 years goes by, they will be back. They will always keep coming back to check to see if you're still available, if that dishwasher is still working. Virgo, this is a tough reading. I know it is, but you need to understand that you need to walk out of here and tell yourself, you know what? That's right. I am the shit. I am number one. 
I'm number one to everybody. And you need to remind yourself of that. I mean, no, it's not flattering that a narcissist made you their number one supply. But there could have been others that could have made number one. But nope, you're it. So take that as you need to take that. And then pick up your bootstraps, tie them up, pack your bag, and get moving. And go find someone else. Like... Oh, maybe Jesus, maybe God, uh, a spiritual being that's going to, you know, improve your life, right? Religious factors. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you, well, I don't want to say I hope you enjoy that because that was kind of deep, but I hope you got some insight into either, either insight into what you need to do or just, I can't think of the word. Um, confirmation to keep going on the path on this path because some of you have already been on this and you're still on it and you're still moving forward so that's it I will see you guys tomorrow love you